Hello, this is Nancy. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm excited to share my review of some amazing craft supplies from FG Normal's website. They offer a wide range of products for diamond painting, paper numbers, cross stitch, crochet, knitting, and so much more. They asked me to review some items, and I, this is my top picks that I chose um, from their website. The first item is the wooden diamond painting frame excuse me it's 40 centimeters by 50 centimeters which is roughly 15 and 3 quarters by 19 and 11 16 it's weird it comes in pieces and the, the corners you can slide them together and um, if you want them permanent you can just um, glue them if not you could just leave them um, unglued and I'm going to be staining mines of course with the Waverly wax and I need to f figure out which of my diamond paintings I'm going to be sticking in this one sticking um, adding to this frame so um, they have different sizes on their website I'll leave, leave all these links down below in the description box below the next item I chose was some yarn um, they call it uh, cotton ropes on their website it's um, 50 grams and they recommend a three and a half millimeter hook for crochet and a four and a half to five millimeter for knitting and the color is 21 which is like a purple and um, all the, the, the writing on the wrapper is in different language so this is what I got from their website and it's a nice not soft yarn and I'll be um, trying this out with some hooks um, later on in the video Let's go on to the third item I chose, which they call a uh, milk cotton yarn, which is not cotton. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's an acrylic yarn. It's uh, also a 50 gram ball, and this is a. Uh, it's just a variegated um, color, and it has purple in it, of course. So, um, this is um, probably a good size to make some. I don't know some little toys or maybe some flowers which I'll probably make some with these it's very soft so n nice to see the different types of yarn that's out there the last item I chose was a set of crochet hooks um, 0.65 millimeter to 2.4 millimeter which is really small <laughs> But I wanted to try something different, and um, we'll see. I, I want to try some some of that micro crochet. I wish these handles were were a little bigger because they're too they're small. So if you have any ideas on how to um, make these handles chunkier, leave it down in the description box below. And I'm just gonna show you how small these things are. This one is a two four, two point five millimeter. I've used a two point five before to for the a little miniature airy rug for the the miniature craft room I made and then this one here is a 0.6 millimeter so it's really tiny so we'll see what Nancy can make with these little itty, itty bitty hooks and they measure I think they measure five inches long which is pretty short you know I have a small hand so um, if you have a bigger hand it's gonna, it'll probably um, you know hit your palm or something but they're real sturdy uh, as you can tell I'm here trying to bend them but the handles plastic and the hook section is um, aluminum and they come with a little cover so that you don't um, damage them so I'm going to try to crochet with that first cut um, yarn that I got and um, we'll see how it works out If you're liking this content, please comment below um, what, what was your favorite of these items that I chose. And if you look at the um, FG Normals website, um, what would you order?
I'm using this small um, millimeter hook. I needed my headlamp, which I didn't have, and it has a magnifier on it. So if you need something, that that can help you out. And um, once I finish with this swatch, you can see that the stitches are very crisp. So this this yarn and this hook, not, not a bad um, combination. I just didn't wasn't able to see what I was doing. <laughs> Please consider subscribing, leave me a thumbs up, share with your friends. Until next time, be brave, be strong, and create with some miniature hooks.